Do these guys have like air conditioner units on the back? My snakes need that. Right, so let me just see if there's anything I can anything more I can do. Cooling. Right, so I've got a small cooler here. I'm gonna add that to group twenty-eight, right? do to see if there's any way I can change the temperature range on that so we don't want it ranging too much oh I got gotcha. you I got gotcha you now I want it up to be about 30 degrees So we're at 31 and it's keeping it there. Where the heater would need to, to go up. Right, okay. Funky monkey. Are you happy with your heat now? I think so. Temperature is too hot still. Okay. What do you need it to be? So it's at 34. Cooler's supposed to be taking it down to 31 for you. But let's go down to 29. Let's see how that does. Down to 32 now. Cooler down just a touch more. Wonderful. We just balanced it right. Cool. So, what else do we need? Some uh, exhibit enrichment features. Of which we have nothing. Ah, okay, so we've got a layout thing here. Right, 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 we're getting there now. So, tropical plant A, tropical plant B, tropical plant C. That's enrichment level one. That's got to be better than nothing. Partially providing enrichment features. Or maybe that was what we researched. Maybe. I didn't see that before, but that could be just me not looking for it. But So I'll see as we research more snake stuff, whether we can go in and um, add more enrichment features. So I'm getting used to how that's working now. It's the first time I've ever looked at those. So uh, yeah, don't judge me for not knowing what to do. <laughs> getting there though, working it out. Let's have a look. So we've now got three more items over one species. So with the boa constrictor, it looks like there's uh, different things that we can research each level. And then also more information on them, I guess. I don't know what half this stuff means. Yeah, more information, more informa more better breeding maybe or something. No, oh, no. And now I'm gonna need to get breeding sorted for making these uh, these Scooby dollars down here conservation credits. So I want to go back to the layout. Aha! And now we have enrichment level two from doing more research. Okay, getting there. So let's give them a long, wide trunk. Thin, smooth branch. They seem quite happy with that. Or a thin, long log. So this is how we get the uh, the small exhibits really suitable for the animals. Also, I need to move that because it's annoying me. It needs to be right in the middle or I will not be happy. 
Okay. Happy now. I don't think it's in the middle. Okay, so we've now got them up to 96% welfare. So we've done well by our boa constrictors now. Hurrah! Maybe they will have baby boa constrictors. And then we can send them to other zoos. And sell them off and stuff. Alright, cool. Happy with that. Night time again. It's night time all the time around here. And the street lights like barely give any light off. I wonder if I can... can change the colour of the light. I don't think I want anything but uh, white really. It won't be bright enough otherwise. Move. About to move, rotate. Can't make it any brighter though. No, oh, that's a shame. The zoo will just have to be dark. Is there no donation box by here where all these people seem to be stood? Because that would be a big oversight, would it not? Donate, please. Okay, nothing is dead. This is good. Right, so I want to get some more ostriches in here. I might even want to get something different in here that's not an ostrich. Because they have an interspecies bonus. So I wonder what would go well with them. So I need some... I need to start just buying things that are cash listings. Um, because I cannot afford conservation points. Cash listings only, please. I can't afford other stuff. So, what would go in well with them? Would a tapir go in well with an ostrich? This is my question. Do they like other animals? Is there any way to get the information page up on them? Nope. Okay, well, let's go and have a little look at the actual uh, Zoopedia. Let's see if we can... See if we can see something that will go well with... I mean, maybe the, uh, maybe the peacocks will. The peafowls. The Indian peafowl. Maybe they could go in with them. Let's try it. If not, we'll make them their own thing. Right? Well, let's, let's try peafowl. And I want one more female ostrich as well. Have you laid an egg or anything lately? Look, that is that is bogging, apparently. Go clean it out, please. They've got rotten food. How could you? How could you leave him with rotten food? That's disgusting. Sort it out. And give them more. Don't let them starve. Okay, it looks like they're trying to sort it out. But they're not actually giving them any more food. I worry about this. Okay, a keeper is coming with food. Good stuff. Okay, so we've done some more research into the boa constrictors, I think. Fantastic. So I might be able to even uh, increase the the happiness as well in uh, with some more enrichment. Let's see. Layout. No, it doesn't look like it yet. I think we might have an enrichment level 3 uh, in a minute, though. I don't know what else has been researched, though. Because it really is only heaters and coolers and...
bedding. We've got slow feeders, spores. Doesn't seem like a ton of stuff has been added to their exhibit. But they've got a new level, so. Or maybe some different kind of climate control things. Differences to the windows, maybe. It looks like there's some differences to the windows. Maybe we didn't have those before. Alright, we need a keeper over here as well. I'm going to hire a new keeper and uh, just consign them to the small animal area. I'm making a bit of a profit. Okay, so your job, mister... I get paid what I'm worth. Exhibit food. Training. Oh, he's putting food in this exhibit. Okay, well that's not uh, the end of the world. But I definitely want one of them that's going to be working. That one has bird pellets already. But yeah, I definitely want one just over, uh, just over at the. Uh, I'm gonna make a work zone, okay? Work zone one. In fact, I don't even know what work zone one is. No work zone. I'm going to make a work zone. Can st oh, I can level him up. Alright then. You level up, little dude. So yeah, I really, really need to start making work zones. I've forgotten how to do it as well, which doesn't help. Training you up to a better level. I don't know if I'm even doing anything there. I'm just happy I have three kinds of animals now. Yay! And the zoo is in profit still. Yay! Happy with this. And people are getting more and more happy, which is yay as well. I'm not being told about problems, I'm being told about research, so that's cool too. So I think we finished all the boa constrictor research. Fantastic. Maybe we'll go back onto some ostrich research. Get some of that, because maybe that'll help with the uh, like information and yeah, okay. Uh, Lacey is researching ostriches a bit more now. Okay, fantastic. So what do I want to do now? I was going to get something. I was going to try and get some tapirs or something to go in with these guys. I was going to see if they were happy. And I never did it. So let's let's see if we can do that. I'd love to get some zebras in with them. I don't know if I can. Yeah, so we did have a little baby ostrich that uh, didn't make it as well. Can I ever delete them? I don't, I don't think after like a while I'm going to want to see every dead animal because they're going to start dying of old age. Why is it in transit? Do I need to make the uh, 
send them away from the trade center or something. Is that what I need to do? Where's the trade center? Have a look. Habitat trading, right? Let's have a little look. So I've got s no stored animals. So yeah, I don't understand like why I still need to see dead animals in the, in that list. But never mind. Go to the animal market and get some more. So I think I would like to buy anything that's a cash listing. <laughs> There's an antelope. Should we see if we can put an antelope in with the the ostriches? Not an awful lot for sale right now. It's tiny apparently. Well, you know what? Let's adopt it and see if it'll like live in in habitat too, or whether they don't like each other, or what happens when we try and put them together. I'll be quite interested. Okay, habitat trading. So we've got this sable antelope. And I would like you to go into Habitat 2. And let's see what happens. Let's just have a little experiment, shall we? I do feel like this is quite slow paced in a way. Like, you don't get an awful lot done because you spend so long trying to keep everything happy and doing all the research. I'm hoping that uh, that won't happen for too long. The fact that I had trouble with feeding and things like that, I lost a couple of ostriches. It was a bit annoying too. And at this moment in time, I don't seem to be able to uh, to trade too much. So let's see if the antelope is happy in here. Okay. Antelope, you're in there. So you pretty happy with the overall welfare and everything in here. And uh, you got a little interspecies bonus. Nice. So you like being in with the ostriches. The ostriches get a little 20% bonus as well. Lovely. Cool. Oh. You don't have any food or toy enrichment. So you're pretty happy in there. So we can have antelope in here. That's great. He's a bit small. But we'll get some more in here as well. We'll have loads of cool stuff in here. Um, happy with the terrain ish could do with a little less long grass and a little more soil I think the ostriches want more soil too they do so let's go and put more more soil in here because they all need it I think a little bit of soil just over here and make it nice for them Okay, let's see how that uh, affects, because we've still got the ostrich up at the moment. See how that change the terrain affected the antelope. The antelope happier? Need a little less long grass as well. So I'll just get a little more short grass in, just a tiny bit. I think that won't bother the ostriches too much. Wonderful. Okay, so now I think we need to start researching antelopes over here and just see what they like. I don't know what their enrichment is. No, oh, I don't need the zoo, te the zoo pedia. Meh. I just need to know. Lacey Gray is working on this. Stop working on that. Lots. We'll work on other stuff. We press that, that stops her doing it, doesn't it? Yeah, there we are. So. Back. I will get there with this. I will. 
it's not always the most uh, intuitive uh, interface I could ever wish for, but it's trying to do an awful lot of stuff. But yeah, Antelope looks pretty happy in there. We seem to be doing pretty well for our profits now. They like the antelope. Loads of people in the zoo now. Cool. So, uh, what else could we could we do? Could we get another one? Are they not happy? They're still hungry and thirsty. They're always hungry and thirsty. My goodness me. Let's see what else we've got in here for... Cash listings only... Oh, there's a few more things now. Cool. We've got another ostrich, but it's a male. What a monitor lizard. We've got a zebra. And a pronghorn antelope. I want to put a zebra in here. Even if it's a rubbish zebra. And one of these antelopes. And another tortoise. No, they're all male tortoises. Do I not need a female one? I'll have to see how they breed and whether they don't, whether they like being in with other males or not. That might be a thing to check. Okay, so let's get this sorted. So my zebra, I want to move that into pen two as well. And my antelope. And then we're going to see how well they do. <laughs> Together. Whether they get a bit annoyed with each other. Or they don't like the habitat and it's hard to get it right for them. We'll have to see. Okay, Zebra, what do you think? You're hungry? Okay. Can you eat from the, the welfare 64%, welfare 59%, thirsty? There should be water in here though for you to drink. Go have a drink. Lovely. So enrichment, not great. Rest of it, decent. Meal quali quality isn't fantastic, but it's fine. They're pretty much eating like bird pellets right now. So that's suitable food for my ostrich. Maybe I need to put in something with more suitable uh, food for the old zebra there. So let's have a little look. Good interspecies bonus for this uh, pen, though, now for all of them. They seem pretty happy. Terrain's great for them. But yeah, I'm worried that it's hungry, so let's have a look. She's hungry. She's a girl zebra. So, that feeding... Large food bowl, ostrich and peafowl, food trough. Seems to be good for like plain zebra. Okay, got a large food trough in here and hope that they they put some hay or something in it for these guys. I'm gonna call the keeper and hope that they come and fill this this hay trough up for uh, all of my grazing animals. It's daytime again! Woohoo! Look at all the people there. I had better have a... Oh, it's there, right. Move that a bit lower. Like, nudge nudge! <laughs> So 
top species donation. Common ostrich. Largest donation. Twenty dollars. Wow, thank you, dude. What about this one? This one's had $110 total. And that's for the tortoises. But then there's two boxes over here. That one's had 6,000. They like the ostriches. They really like the ostriches. And hopefully now there's more different animals. They'll, they'll like everything even more. Yay! Wow, upkeep is going through the roof though. This is not good. You seem to have lots more money though. Oh, I don't know what all that was about. They must have just temporarily lost access to something. Is that dung? Is that a big pile of dung? On the ground? Because I want the keeper to come sort that out. Are these guys being treated okay? They seem pretty good. I'm just kind of letting the keepers do whatever they want at the moment. But I will, as the zoo grows, I will start to zone things up a bit more. It seems a bit ridiculous with three exhibits. Oh look, we've got two more babies! Fantastic! So now they've got room, they seem to be happy to breed. Now, what ma- oh, male. Right, okay, got a male juvenile ostrich. And we've got a female. So the male we need to be uh, getting rid of because the female- the other male will not be happy. At all. So you need to go to the trade centre. Bye bye. And we need to sell you, I think. Or release you into the wild, or whatever we want to do. So this will be my first time playing around again. Sometimes I mess things up when I play around with them for the first time. One of those things. So we have uh, a common ostrich called Inam, who is 0.2 years old. And I would like to try and... Uh, Sell, I guess. Can I sell you? Are you too young to sell? Or to release into the wild or whatever it is? Oh, good appeal. Much better appeal than the uh, the other ostriches. Wow. <laughs> Zero on the immunity gene. Oof. Nasty. I'm going to put you back in habitat too then. Because I think you might need to grow up. So we got like a really bad um, genetic match here. Have a little look. Immunity on Nadulu is 83%. And the immunity on Moana is 50%. So the immunity can go all the way up to here and all the way down to there. Um, that was just luck then. You're back, dude. You're back. I think you might need to grow up. I might have to have a little look, actually, on the... Uh... I want to see if I can get another zebra. I want, I want baby zebras! But yeah, I don't, I don't understand about the animal trading at the moment, so I wanted to have a little look at that. I want to have a look at selling. I don't want to acquire them. I want to sell them. I want this uh, conservation credits. Selling animals in the marketplace. Like, I want to do that. Nothing here about selling animals. I 
Release the wild. Trading your animals. Here we are. Okay, before you trade an animal, you must send it to the trade center. Animals cannot be traded if they are juvenile, sterile, or elderly. Aha. So yes, I have to wait for my ostrich to grow up. So when I can see my ostrich is a, a big grown-up male, I'll be able to do that. So you can only trade for conservation credits in franchise mode to list the animal on the market. Conservation credits, click trade. Other players will be able to adopt your animal while the animal is listed. If the animal isn't adopted before the listing expires, it will return to animal storage. In any mode of the game, you can quickly sell the animal for cash. This is instant, but doesn't generate conservation credits. To generate conservation credits, we consider releasing the animal to the wild or trading instead. Release to the wild. Um, animals can be released to the wild as part of a conservation drive to increase numbers in their natural habitat. Juvenile and aged animals cannot be released to the wild. Releasing animals to the wild will generate conservation credits and will also boost the zoo's conservation rating. The amount of credits returned from this will reduce for repeat releases of the same species within a short period of time. Animals cannot be released if they are juvenile, elderly, sterile, or sick. So, um... Animal information. Click on the button to the right of the move button. Release the wilds. In animal storage, trading, or an animal list in zoo management. Okay. So this animal here, for example. I think I need to send it to the trade center and then I could release it to the wild or sell. I don't want to keep that male at all because it's got like zero immunity. It's, t it's a really bad uh, specimen, so I would like to either sell or release that to the wild. I don't know if another player will buy that within the time. So I would be ideal if I could release to the wild and try and get some credits. Uh, but it looks like that's a long-term thing because you know the animals are up for like an hour. And then you see if they get bought. So it's not a case of you. you it's not really a case that you uh, you get the credits super quick. Those credits must take a long time to get. Like the fact that they're saying daily and weekly challenges and things like that as well means you know you're supposed to play this over quite a long time, I believe. But I want to get as many animals as possible. So what I'm probably going to do is um, try and get them when they come up for cash, because I have a lot of cash. So we have uh, found out a little bit more about the sable antelope. I would like to find out a bit more about zebras. Please, change your research onto zebras for a bit. Okay, so hopefully we can uh, do a little bit more to help with the environment there. Oh, it's it's horrible and messy in here. Are you guys going to clean up? Are you going to get your, your hoovers out? Because you're grossing the guests out, oh yeah? You're gonna get your Hoover out. You you're cleaning Hoover. They just go in and they look, and there's like poo all over the floor. I'm pretty sure. And they're like, nah. <laughs> I don't need to clean up. So I'm gonna call the keeper in to this uh, habitat. Oh, now they get their Hoovers out. Okay. Maybe they have to go back and get their hoovers. Maybe they inspect and then they come and get the hoovers. Good stuff. Go hoover the, the cage. It's it's a mess in there. It's full of poo. So you little sable antelope, I can give you some, uh, some extra stuff. I believe anyway. So enrichment items. We should have some more now. A grab ball. Liked by plain zebras and... Sable antelopes. Fantastic. I'll enjoy those. What else have we got? Have we got anything else new? No. But that's fine. The zebra likes it, look. He's like, hey, look at me. Look at me with my grab ball. I'm the best zebra ever. Yes, I am. Realize I'm gonna to need to get some awesome thumbnails of these guys, like following them around in the uh, in camera. Look, this. I won't have the game for very long, so I have to go in and get loads of cool pictures of them for thumbnails and things. Yes. 
So yeah, like the zebra is super happy with the grab ball. Lovely. Stop saying ew. And suddenly, now they're all a lot happier. We're making a lot more profit, which is a-okay. Hmm, they're struggling for a staff center. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do another little staff area somewhere else. And I'll probably just go with the same thing. Like I'll still have these little trees in the way. That seems like a really good way of just hiding that area. So we'll give them another staff room up here, and then we'll start sort of building out. We'll keep building out into the center and probably we'll build out to this side and put some more staff things over here just for this section of the zoo i suppose well everyone wants drinks right now they were all wanting uh, food a minute ago anyway staff staff room new staff room and i might put a new um power station in as well because i know we need power up this end of the zoo too so let's do this Pass. Line to grid. Staff path. In red, because I like it in red. And we'll just um, go in behind. Oops. Go in behind here a little bit. We'll make, like I say, we always do a little sort of. Maybe we don't need all of this. There we are. And then I'm gonna put some bamboo in there, and then we'll put like a new uh, facility in for the staff behind behind there. So let me see, staff facility. Staff room. Staff room. I need a staff room. Staff building. And I would like another generator in there as well, but it's fine. At the moment, I'm happy enough. Don't need another workshop or anything like that. Or another research center. Or anything along those lines. You just need a couple of... Maybe I'll have two staff rooms here even. Maybe I don't need two staff rooms. I don't know. Low welfare on the pronghorn antelope. Okay. We need to sort that out. Just get some utilities in here. What's water treatment for? I haven't noticed any problems with water. Now, having this here would cover a lot more of the zoo. Wonderful. Starting to get a bit bigger now and, and cooler and more money and things. Oh, we lost a lot of money there. Oh, yeah, probably because of building those things. Duh. You don't get staff rooms and power generators for free. <laughs> okay, let's exit the uh, editing group. So that's good, we got uh, extended power and we've got a new staff room. So hopefully they should be happy with that. They'll be a bit annoyed that they can see this at the moment. So let's go and get some um, nice vegetation in front of it. Loving my bamboo for this, by the way. Loving the bamboo, it's very good for hiding things. Very good for making a screen, bamboo screen. Not that I can find my bamboo right now. A vine curtain. That'd be quite good too. But no, I want my bamboo. Where's it gone? Bamboo. Should be at the top under B for bamboo. Watch me scroll right past it. There it is. There you go. So if I need any more staff stuff, I can just pop it behind there. Hopefully the uh, people won't see it hidden behind my bamboo screen. <laughs> 